I got her set in here. I've checked the lash. That's it, that's all the lash. And the up and down, I checked all that on the bearings. Everything I think's good on that pinion. So I don't want to open Pandora's box. I think that thing's great. Oil come out of it, look fun. I don't see any reason to get too concerned over this. So, just getting a seal and putting a seal in. Uh, yoke face looks good here. I don't see any reason why that would be. I think it's the vibration of my carrier bearing being out for that long made the problem. Smoke on Rocky Top, ain't no telephone bills. All right, we're up on our first hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill. What we're gonna do is we're drilling this out. And uh, bye bye to the three quarters and hello to the seven eighths fine treads. I don't know if I showed y'all yet or not, but here's what's factory on a John Deere skidder. And this is the old school. They call them the small holes. And this was old school. It's like back in the E days. I think in the E days they started. I don't, I don't know if in the E days y'all could order a skidder with the, the big holes or not, but <clears throat> that's about the time it started. This air started changing. You might be able to order some G's in small holes. But anyways, this Fowler Buncher, they... Uh, they bought the axle from Deere. This is John Deere straight. It's 12,000 axle straight out of a skidder. Out of a John Deere skidder. Which is part of the reason we bought that French function. It's got John Deere parts. Um, but the, uh, for some damn reason, they ordered it with the three quarter hose, which ain't enough to just shear the bastards off doing the stuff we're doing. So, that's what we're going to do. Well, I'll, I'll let y'all bid you cord this. I'll bid you cord y'all. How about it? The trash can, man. You look that up on GoPro's website. Trash can man. Somebody got it. Poopy Pants uh, called me and rudely interrupted this broadcast, but uh, his truck's getting done at Dennis's. Something about two and three cylinders getting leaking by something. I don't know. I didn't hear what he said. Something about Dennis about done with his truck. So that's good. We'll get Poopy Pants to get his truck back for the 15th time. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna record this. Y'all spray. Now for those of you that ain't never heard before, that ain't in the know, that stuff is a beast. Put it on your nuts. See that? So uh, all you gotta do is put it on your nuts and it's a beast, I promise you. Well, where are y'all gonna say it? I can't find a good mount. How about the sandblaster mount? Let me try that. Homemade sandblaster mount. Look at that homemade sandblaster. Made out of an air tank, that puppy works good. Big Meat, that was one of the things Big Meat left behind. Big Meat made that. He said, Tater, he said, I ain't intending on working that hard anymore. <laughs> so he said, you can have her. And it's sad because the stuff I'm doing now, Big Meat tried to teach me years ago, and I never paid attention. Heck, I was probably half drunk half time he's trying to teach me stuff. He said, you're going to need to know this someday. I said, yeah, right. Oh, my God, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> Today's the day. So, here we go. Well, you son of a bitch. I think it's the wrong size socket. And y'all go to order your mount. Don't order it with an inch and a quarter socket. I'd get it smaller. Oh,
started. <laughs> and uh, for those of you that, that's never tapped before and is getting ready to tap into a big fancy axle, uh, the main thing with tapping is start your tap straight. That's everything. And lube it up. Don't run her in dry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's make us a new trade. I got 28 of these bad boys to go. I figured I'd make me a socket out of a cheap John. You gotta keep John cheap cheap sockets around. Uh, they are the bomb when it comes to stuff like this. Look at that. Slid right on. It's the tatty tot female to female half inch adapter. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. I'll set you up here on the uh, sandblaster mount. www.gopro.com sandblaster mount. Look it up. Take a grinding wheel and hone out the back of this axle just a hair to get my nuts sitting there flat, you know, because this is. But it's in there. One down, 28 to go, or 27 to go. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm getting ready to tear into the other side. It is after three. I've been screwing with this all day. I have ran into trouble many times. I've ran into situations with bits. I've ran into situations where there's hardness in his hub. I think I'll prove my theory on the other side. But man, I've done aggravating jobs, but I promise you that's an aggravating job. Look at all the mess I made on the floor and the oil and stuff. <laughs> well, all right. Mommy just text messaged me. Let's see how small they are on this side. We'll take the small ones out on this side and drill it out. End up having to grind on the back side to get the nuts to set in flush. They all set in flush like they're supposed to. I finally figured our seal out. That's coming too. Finally, we're cranking it out. Uh, we did a lot of learning uh, on this metal. The metal, I've been having trouble with the metal in spots. So, but we about got that whooped. If I can find a spot to put y'all, I'll let y'all hang out for a minute. Let me put you over here.
parking spot in these both of these hubs. And they take up about four holes, and boy, you can just wreck your cut. I sat there and just took a bag on side grinder and just started touching the bit up and just cycling it through. And it still ain't good enough. I gotta do it with the burr bit on the die grinder. And that's about the eighth hole it's done so far after the sharpening. Okay, I didn't get the uh, finished product on there. I, I guess I, I went, I just guess I got screwed up and didn't get the finished product on there. But it turned out pretty good. So, uh, next video, we're going to take it out, we're going to slap it in. And we end up coming up with a good sling system that I was really proud of for Whitey. And the way the ge geometry and stuff worked on it, I want y'all to watch that. So even if y'all's over this bunch of actual stuff, come back tomorrow night and watch that. That turns out great. And uh, to the guys with the axe giveaway and uh, Cousin Joe's unboxing and uh, stuff like that, and uh, a couple of shout outs, I I'll get to them the day after tomorrow, probably. I ain't going to hold to it tentatively. I'll get to it then. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody, later on. And, and by the way, today we did after log today, and uh, Buncher's doing great. Thanks, everybody, later on.